looking at our world from a theological perspective. Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, June the 28th, 2023. It is currently 11.05 a.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live from the Theology Central studio located right here in Abilene, Texas. Now, from the very beginning of this podcast... I was committed to ensuring that this podcast would be available on every platform under the sun. I looked for every podcasting app. I didn't care if it was the Deezer music streaming service. They have podcasts. How do I get, how do I get our podcast there? And I, I made it available on Deezer. Amazon Music made it available there. Uh, Pandora made it available there. Spotify, of course, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. If there was a podcast app out there, I was looking on their website, how to submit my podcast, how to get it listed. What do I need to do? Do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? And I would follow the instructions. I would submit it and then we would move on, right? And then I would look for another and look for another. And so I have been trying to do that from the very beginning. Now, there are pros to that and there are cons. The pros is obviously your content is available everywhere. The con is obviously, right? The negative is obvious. I, it's almost impossible to really keep up with your statistics and your analytics and exactly how your podcast is doing because your content is spread all, all over the place, right? It's like, okay, some of the podcast apps, you can just log in on a dashboard and you can look and go, oh, on this app, this is how many downloads I have. On this app, this is how, on and on other apps, you don't really know. And when it's spread out in so many different locations, like most likely you may, you may have this large number, but on one specific app, the number may not be as large. So therefore you don't show up on their podcasting charts, right? If you combined all of your numbers, you probably would be on uh, that podcasting chart. But no, that podcasting chart is specifically to that one app. But your content is not just on that one app. It's on all the apps. So then you're, sometimes you can go, well, am I, you know, how am I doing? How am I not doing? So you'd look for different you know, things out there that tries to gather all of your analytics so you can get kind of a picture of how you're doing. Sometimes that that's very helpful. Sometimes that's very beneficial. But uh, what, uh, you know, going through the pros and cons, what I decided to do is, you know what? Who cares? Who cares how it impacts numbers? Who cares how it impacts, you know, placement on a chart? The key is, you can't expect the people to find you. In a sense, you have to go find the people. You can't expect the people to come to you. You've got to go to the people. So we're going to put our stuff anywhere and everywhere people will be. And hopefully they will stumble upon it. And time after time, I'll get an email. Hey, I was searching for this subject on Pandora. And well, they found us. I was searching for this on Amazon Music and they found us. I was searching for this and and what we're, and the key is it's always Always interesting that on some of these platforms you wouldn't think people would be searching for things of a of a spiritual nature, right? Of a theological perspective, uh, uh, looking for theological content, right? I mean, they're on the Pandora Music streaming app, right? And they're like they're looking for you know what whatever the subject may be. So I've learned, hey, that there's a lot of people out there using a lot of different apps. And whether you, whether you want to believe it or not, a lot of them still have lots of very um, theological minded questions. They still are searching and looking for maybe spiritual answers. They just may not be coming to your church. They may not be calling your church. They may not be hanging out on a Christian website. So, Get the content to wherever they are and you'll find it. Even though we're not a video podcast, we put our content, our content on YouTube. It, it seems counterintuitive, right? You're not a video podcast. So why are you on YouTube? Because, well, there's people there and they use basically YouTube as a search bar. So let's get our, let's get our content on YouTube. So wherever we can go, we go. And that's wonderful. And that's great. And one of the places that we went very early on was the app known as Stitcher. That's S-T-I. 
T C H E R Stitcher. Now we we got on Stitcher r- very early. And I love the Stitcher app. If you've ever used the Stitcher podcasting app, um, I thought it was w- well designed. Now it was it, uh, the only thing I did not like about Stitcher is you couldn't. There, there was a lot of shows you could not find on the Stitcher app compared to some of the others. And the other apps would allow you, even if you couldn't find the podcast, you know, in on their app, you could you could bring in the feed by just grabbing the RSS feed or grabbing the URL. You could just add a podcast that way. All you have to do is find the RSS feed or the URL, put it in, boom, and it would just bring in the podcast. Stitcher wouldn't allow you to do that. So it, so in some cases, there were things, that, you know, other podcasts that I listened to on other apps I couldn't listen to on Stitcher, but I thought Stitcher was so fast at bringing in your content. When I when I finish an episode of our podcast, usually within I, it feels like ten to, to thirty seconds, I get a notification from Stitcher. Theology Central has just released a new episode, and I'm like, "Wow, they are fast, they are quick. I like their design, their and their notifications work great." So I, I've been a, a fan of the Stitcher app, and we were glad that we were on there. Well, we received notification. I believe yesterday we received notification that the Stitcher app is shutting down. The Stitcher app is shutting down. And that's that's a pretty big deal because the app, the Stitcher app, which once called itself the number one podcast app in the United States of America, has more, had more than 14 million users at its peak. 14 million people were using the Stitcher app. See why you want your content on all of these podcast apps? A lot of times when you look at these podcast apps and you look at how many people are using them, you would be crazy not to get your content on those apps. You've, I mean, when you, when, when millions of people are using an app, you've got to get your content there. I, I, I say this to all churches. I do not understand why churches put their sermons online. In many cases, the only place you can find it is their website. In many cases, you can't even download it. In many cases, you can't even subscribe to it as a podcast so you can pull in the latest sermons on a podcasting app. And then some of them will be on a few podcasting apps, but you can't find their content on others. And you're like, what? What are you doing? Some will only put their sermons on a Christian app. It makes no sense to me. Get your content everywhere. But we were on Stitcher. And again, it's a 15-year-old app. And in some ways, Stitcher helped put podcasts on the map in, 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 many, in many ways. Well, it's shutting down. As of August the 29th, the Stitcher app is going away and it will no longer be around. So if you listen to us on Stitcher... You need to find us, again, you can just choose any podcast app you want. Of course, we challenge you to download the Church One app. Go to the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, download Church One, Church O-N-E. That's Church O-N-E, all run together, and then look for Theology Central. And then, well, then it basically becomes the Theology Central app. That's an easy way to keep up with all of our content, but you can find us on the Edify Christian Podcasting app. We're there. You can find us on Pocket Cast. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, you name the app, we are there. So please find us. But if you are using Stitcher, August 29th, the app goes away. Now, I hate that on one hand. I hate that because that's an app that was being used at one point by 14 million people. I don't know the current numbers, but a lot of people still use it. So I hate that. Hopefully those people who moved on to, will move on to other apps and still be able to find our content. But it also presents a possible interesting development. Because Stitcher is going away. But if you, well, let me just read the news story. Stitcher shuts down as podcast industry loses luster. So that you know, like that, hey, the podcast industry is starting to lose some of that luster. And, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, right? Look, if, if the podcasting industry loses its luster, then a lot of people who are in it for money, a lot of people who may be in it for other things, they may move away from the podcasting world, if that's the case. And then maybe more independent voices who are, were, you know, who don't monetize our podcast and not really in it for the money, maybe we'll, we'll still be around. We'll still be around when maybe when others move on to the next big thing and, and 
follow it. Uh, some of us who've been turning on microphones and broadcasting for pretty much forever, uh, hopefully we'll still be around and maybe, maybe even have an opportunity to, to build a bigger audience. But here's a little bit from the story. Stitcher, a 15-year-old app that helped put podcasts on the map, is shutting down, companies said Tuesday. It's the latest casualty of an economic downturn that has swept the technology and entertainment sectors, including the podcasting business. The Stitcher app and website will discontinue operations on August the 29th, 2023, the company said. Parent company, now this is the interesting development. Parent company Sirius XM said it would continue to offer Stitcher's content. Subscribers can listen to podcasts while using, or subscribers can listen to podcasts within, I should say, within the Sirius XM app and will see an all new listening experience later this year. Now, I don't know exactly what that means because Stitcher obviously offered all podcasts, but they also produced their own podcast. So is just the Stitcher podcast that they produce in their studios, are they going to move to the Sirius XM app? Or is the Sirius XM app going to now be Sirius XM slash podcast? And they're going to pull in podcasts from all over. That seems that I don't think that's what they would do, but maybe they will. And if they do, that means then Theology Central would be available on the Sirius XM app, which would be crazy. I just don't see them doing that. I see them bringing in just the podcast, the, the Stitcher originals, the, the podcasts that were only on Stitcher. I see Sirius XM bringing those over and the rest of us won't be available on that. It would be awesome in some ways if we were, that, but, but in other ways it would probably... It would, it would be very, the Sirius XM app would become so, I think it would become a mess, right? You would have too much going on. Uh, sometimes uh, people argue about that with Spotify, right? You've got music, you've got audio books, you've got podcast, and it's just a, it's a mess. It's a mess and how to organize it and, and, and how do you do your content? Sirius, if you look, if you've ever used the Sirius XM app, there's already a billion things available on it. It's already overwhelming. Sometimes you don't even know what to click on or what to listen to. There's so many stations, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stations. So, um, if they have a podcast tab, is it going to allow access to all the podcasts that were already on Stitcher? I don't, I don't think they will. If they do so, of course, I'll be the first one to turn on this microphone and tell you, because then I don't know how many people use the Sirius XM app. Uh, I, I'm, it's in the millions. I can guarantee you that. Uh, and so that would be, again, another possible new audience uh, for our content. I don't know if that's what will happen. Um, I, I, I think they're only going to bring over the Stitcher originals to the Sirius XM app. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. But if they're trying to go get into, quote unquote, the podcasting business, then you really have to kind of bring in all the podcasts. Here's a little bit more about uh, a little bit more on this story. So parent company Sirius XM said it would continue to offer Stitcher's content. Subscribers can listen to podcasts within the Sirius XM app. Um, and, and, and we'll see an all new listening experience later this year. That seems to imply that sometime this year, the Sirius XM app is going to be completely redesigned and we're going to get a new version of the app. I can't wait to see what they do. Of course, the very first improvement they should have is they should improve the sound quality on all Sirius XM channels and that we, they should definitely increase the, uh, the sound quality because that's the only downside of the Sirius XM app. But I digress. The app, which was once called itself the number one podcast app in the U.S., had more, uh, had more than 14 million users at its peak, according to TechCrunch. Sirius XM, which bought Stitcher in 2002 for $325 million, is closing the app in order to incorporate podcast, now listen to this, in order to incorporate podcast into its flagship Sirius XM subscription business, the company said on its website. Now, again, I don't know, when you say incorporate podcast, is that all podcast? All podcast or 
only the 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 ones that were original for Stitcher because Stitcher had a thing called Stitcher Premium. And it was like a subscription thing that you paid for that you could get access to all the Stitcher original podcast. Are they? But when I say incorporate podcast, like it's not clear. But we're going to bring in all podcasts to instead of having the Stitcher app and the SiriusXM app, we're going to bring all podcasts into the SiriusXM app. The popular uh, podcast app is the latest tech player struggles. Um, the popular podcast app is the latest tech player struggle as the economy slows and media firms shed jobs. Podcasts haven't been immune. Major podcast studios, Vox Media, uh, Pushkin Studios, and Spotify all announced layoffs in January. This month, Spotify said it would engage in a second round of layoffs and its podcast division. The streaming giant also canceled a dozen original podcasts and ended a high-profile podcast deal with Prince Harry and Meghan that yielded only one podcast series. In March, Sirius XM cut nearly 500 jobs, or 8% of its workforce. The advertising downturn is also hitting news media earlier this year. BuzzFeed News and MTV News shut down, and Vice News filed for bankruptcy protection. So, obviously, there's a downturn in a large a number of industries. How this is going to uh, play out as far as podcasts are concerned, we'll have to wait and see. But simply put, the Stitcher app. As of August the 29th, 2023, coming up soon, will no longer be there. So if you listen to us on Stitcher, then please uh, change podcast apps immediately. In fact, on our TheologyCentral.net pod page, TheologyCentral.net, there's a place that gives all the different places you can listen to us on. I'm going to remove the Stitcher uh, link Today, I'm going to just remove it because you don't want anyone else going to Stitcher. And, and it, it'll be amazing how many people you watch. When Stitcher closes down, there'll be millions of people going, what happened? What happened? What happened? Because for some real weird reason, people don't keep up. Now, when I opened the Stitcher app yesterday, it gave me a full screen announcement. But when I opened the Stitcher app this morning, the announcement wasn't there. So you would think they would show the announcement continually every day when you open the app. Um, I'm hoping they let everyone know because then people will be like, "I, what happened? What happened? And so if you use Stitcher, please find us somewhere else. Um, and again, we're everywhere. We're every, everywhere. I don't know uh, which podcasting apps you use. Um, again, if you're looking for a Christian podcasting app, the Edify Christian podcast app, that's you know all Christian podcast, like 2 million different podcasts. That's a good one to use. You can find us there. Um, of course, the Sermons 2.0 app, that's a great one for sermons. And of course, we're there. The Church One app, that basically is our own app. And then you name every other, you just name every other podcasting app. We're there. Um, I don't know which ones you use. Um, I If you just, if you look on my iPad, I use so many. I use uh, pod, uh, Apple Podcasts, Player FM, iCatcher, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, Downcast, Podcast App, Breaker, uh, Podorama, uh, Google Podcasts, and there's, I don't even know how many more. Uh, I, I, I just, I'm always searching for podcast apps and I download them. First thing I do is, is Theology Central available? <laughs> okay, then I look and see how long does it take from the time I complete an episode to it shows up on those apps and do I get a notification when a new episode has been added? If I, if I, if their notification system isn't very good, then I always, I, I probably won't recommend that app. Uh, because I want, I like the uh, notifications. A lot of people turn them off, but I like knowing, oh, boom, uh, this, this podcast just released a new episode. This one, this one, this one. I get, I get notifications continually all day because I subscribe to, you know, I don't know, 600 different podcasts. So I love those notifications. But Stitcher was great. Stitcher was one of the best notifications. It was fast. I like their design. It was awesome. And it is gone. So who's next? What's going to be the next podcasting app to 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 possibly go away? What what like how are these business models going to be sustainable to these podcasting apps? How are they going to make it? How many are going to go away? Well, all I can do is pay close attention to the industry, and as soon as one goes away, I turn on the microphone and tell you because I know this: even if seventy percent of them go away. 
will still be on all the rest of the apps. Okay. So I'm never in danger. Like, oh no, that went away. We'll find a way to get the content to people. That That's the one thing we've just started to do. So I wanted to at least just quickly turn on the microphone today and let everyone know Stitcher, the Stitcher podcasting app that's been around for 15 years. At one point, it was branded the number one podcasting app used by at its highest peak, 14 million people. As of August the 29th, 2023, it will be no more. Content will be moved to the Sirius XM app, which I subscribe to Sirius XM, and I have that app right here on my iPad. I will be watching it closely to see how they incorporate podcast over to that app. I cannot wait to see the new Sirius XM app coming up sometime this year. And if our podcast is there, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Uh, because then all of those millions of people would at least have access to it. Doesn't mean they would ever find you. Don't mean they will ever listen to you. All you can do is put your con- make your content available. That's that's how I look at it, right? Hey, 15 million people use this app. Well, then let's get my content there. Let's get my content there. Now, are, is there what's the chances that any one of that of those 15 million people will find my content? Probably slim to none. But all you can do is do so because I look, if you, if, if you use podcast apps, you know, the things that get like promoted to you are usually the very well-known ones, the big ones, right? It's like the more smaller, independent, you know, people, your, your podcast app usually doesn't suggest content. Now, I think someone said, was it Amazon Music? Someone said that they found us because of a suggestion by one of their podcasting apps, which I thought was amazing that our content would even be reach that level. Uh, the way it works, especially on Apple podcast, is the more people who, who write reviews and the more star ratings you get, the, the more there's traffic going on with your podcast, the, the algorithm kind of picks it up. Same with YouTube. The more people posting comments and giving it a you know, thumbs up, the more people on YouTube talking about the content, the more comments, the algorithm realizes something is going on with it. So, you know, your engagement, what like whatever app you use, if there's any way to leave a star rating, thumbs up, write a comment, Anything like that is helpful. If it's the if it's the sermons 2.0 app, uh, put I don't know I don't know I don't think they have an algorithm. I don't know how they 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 work on the sermons 2.0 app. But it, it doesn't matter if you engage the content in some way, shape, or form to let the app know people are doing something with it. They're not only they're listening, they're giving it a five stars. They're writing comments. And look here here's the dirty little secret here's the dirty little secret even sometimes people don't realize this the people who come in there and just say rude and mean things all you're doing is usually helping the algorithm okay all, all you're really doing is like hey this one this one there's a buzz around this one even if it's negative so um but yeah that that's always a way some pe- people say well how can uh, you you help your favorite podcaster well it depends on which app you're using if it's an apple podcast app Man, give me a five-star rating and start writing and write a review. That's a big one. If it's on Pandora, thumbs up for all the episodes. If it's, uh, you know, it depends on, I think Spotify now has a thumbs up and I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't keep up with all of them. All of them have their, some of them have different features and whichever, you know, feature is available. Engaging it that way is super helpful. Because if the algorithm realizes there's something going on, then maybe it will recommend it to other people. And if it recommends it to other people, then you find new audience. It's just it's just so weird that podcast discovery, it, it, that seems to be – that seems to be an area where none of the podcast apps I feel have ever really mastered it, right? Because, I mean, I'll go to some of these podcasts and like, here's a suggestion. It'll be like it's a su- – do I need a suggestion for, you know, stuff from NPR, BBC, NBC, ABC? Like, you know, you're, you're just going to the major content providers, right? You're going to the major ones. I, I, everyone already knows about these podcasts. Be suggesting unique things, things that people have may never have heard of. That, But I don't believe any of the apps have really accomplished that. Um, it, it, like even on the sermons 2.0 app, I mean, like you've got, you know, how, what's the, what's the secret 
sauce to helping people discover new content. What's the, what's the way to pull that off? And I don't know if any of the apps have ever really accomplished that. I, I don't know because there's always an all like even on the Edify Christian podcast app. Look at go to the Edify Christian podcast app. Typically, what they suggest are stuff a part of their network, right? Like in other words, they're going to only help you discover stuff they've got in a sense some skin in the game. They they they've got they they've got a connection to it. Well, then that leaves everyone else. So either you have to try to pay in some way or try to find some way to get in so that you can be a part of the promotion process. So either you have to pay for promotion, but I just wish the abs did better at just trying to be like, you know, hey, at the top of each hour, we're going to offer randomly, very randomly, five suggestions. Like at the top of each hour, it's going to refresh. Like this section is going to refresh. You can call it a discovery tab and you hit it. And every hour it throws five new podcasts and it just pulls from random from the, from, you know, from the computer, not based on anything, not based on numbers, not based on listens, not based on anything, just five. Here we go. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe on the, uh, the, uh, Sermons 2.0 app. Wouldn't it be cool if it, they had a, like a discovery tab and you click it and every hour they gave you five new broadcasters or five, like five new broadcasters and five messages just randomly, not, not picked on any, no, no favoritism involved. Here's five, here's, here's five, uh, broadcasters. Here's five messages. And, 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 and the two are different. The messages are not from those broadcasters. In other words, here's five just randomly chosen broadcasters, and here's five messages. Every hour it up, updates, just every hour, every hour. So, you, it, you know, you're like, oh, it's uh, – what time is it? You know, it's, and, and, and 30 minutes, the app is going to give me five new broadcasters and five new sermons. I think that would help discover. I just wish all the apps did that. But a lot of times your content is buried and buried and buried and buried and buried. Like on the Edify Christian Podcast app, there's 2 million podcasts on there. How are they going to ever find your content? So then it comes to how good is their search function? How, how, what, what are, what are they going to pull up as their uh, number one search results? Like what's it based off of? How easy is your content uh, discoverable? How how easy is it is for your content to be discovered? Those are questions all podcast all all churches should care about. All Christian podcasters should care about. Now I don't know how easy people found our content on uh, Stitcher. In fact, let me look here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to tell you. I'm gonna be able to tell you here, or at least on I can get some statistics here. I can get some statistics here. All right. Um, here we see sources. Yeah, Stitcher. Uh, this is uh, where Stitcher ranked for us, or currently. Right now, the number one, the number one app for us is Apple Podcast by, um, by so far. Number two is Spreaker. That's our hosting site. Number three is VLC, which I have no clue what that is. Next is Podcast Attic. Next is Spotify. Next is Pandora. Next is Podbean. And then right underneath Podbean is Stitcher. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stitcher is number eight for us. Number eight. Stitcher is number eight for us. So that and now that's that's as as of right now at eleven thirty two a.m. on Wednesday, June the twenty eighth. I don't, it changes literally hourly. Right now, Apple Podcasts, whew, we are so, I don't know what's going on with Apple Podcasts. We're having, a, we're having a major surge in Apple Podcast users. Just in, like at this moment, today, just today, we've had 9,896 downloads and streams on Apple Podcasts as of today, and it's 11.33 a.m., so in just the, the, the few hours of today, 9,896 downloads and streams on Apple Podcast alone. I don't know what's going on, why Apple is going crazy right now. And the, other, no, the others don't even come close as of today. Nowhere close. I mean, that's, that's insane. I don't know what's going on on Apple Podcast. So it's a good day for Apple Podcast. 
Now, what I wish is out of those 9,896 downloads and streams, they were giving me five-star ratings and writing reviews. That's what I wish. Then the algorithm would pick it up and then maybe we would be uh, suggested on, uh, on, on certain places of the app. But there you go. Now, we were having – the Apple Podcast app has had its ups and downs and it, how easy it works for people. I think it's uh, on a kind of working really well right now. It was a, a negative time there for a, a little while. But there you have it. I just wanted everyone to know Stitcher, the podcast app, used to be number one. Been around for 15 years. 14 million people at its peak. Shuts down August the 29th. They are claiming they're going to move content over to the Sirius XM app. I just don't know which content they're moving over. If they're moving over all podcasts that were on Stitcher, then we will be there. And that would be really cool. We will see. We'll keep you updated on the latest changes happening in the podcasting app world. Just know that wherever you look, search for Theology Central and you will find us. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll be doing some actual broadcasting here in a minute about more important things, but I wanted to get this announcement out of the way. Everyone have a great day. God bless.